Hello everyone and welcome to another homebrew update. I'm your host Troy and before we get things started about the whole homebrew news and everything that's going on with the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch, I want to give a shout out to Wilch. He has donated to my channel and I thank you very much for that donation. It will go towards it and it will definitely help me out as far as, you know, things that I need to get for this channel. So, thank you so much. If anyone of you would like to actually donate, there is a link in the description below to my PayPal. I have been thinking about making a Patreon, but I don't, I don't know, I'm still on the fence about it. Right now, PayPal is working well for me. Back on to the topic of the homebrew stuff. Like I said, we do have stuff for the Nintendo Switch as well as the PS4, so let's go ahead and jump right in. The very first thing I'm going to be talking about on the Nintendo Switch is actually just released either earlier this morning or late last night, I can't remember, but just look at the tweet. Yes, that is right, a popular Nintendo Switch developer is working on getting Emunand on the Switch. That is amazing because that just means that we'll be able to have two different firmwares on your device. Essentially, you'll have the Eminem, which is a NAND that will not be able to hurt anything if it gets corrupted, while you have the actual Sys NAND, where that's the actual firmware of your device. So, on your Sys NAND, you can say be on 3.0. On the Eminem, it's possible that you can actually be on the newest firmware, which is currently 5.1, I believe. So, yes, that is very exciting news. Currently, all it shows is just it's loading, that's it. It's not actually booting into Eminem, but the future will only tell what is actually happening. Also on the Nintendo Switch, we have a ton of emulators that have come out, such as the Lei NES. The Lei NES emulator runs at the actual speed of the NES, you know, the actual NES console. So all your games, such as Super Mario, uh, balloon fight and other things like that ice climbers are able to run at the actual clock speed that they ran on the actual NES That is awesome news. So guys if you do want to play you can actually grab it in the description below I'll put a link to it. Also other emulators for the switch are the GBA as well as the Game Boy Color and a DS emulator. Yes, all the way up to the DS emulator. So guys, if any of you are like me and like to play more of the old retro games on other consoles, you can definitely do this now. The DS emulator is still being worked on though, so just kind of be patient on that one. I think you are able to actually play it and try it out, but it's very glitchy at the moment. Next up, we have some old news yet. It is still news for this channel, because I've talked about it yet, about Team Executor's little exploit dongle thing. They are calling it the SX Pro and the SXOS. The difference between the two is the SX Pro comes with a dongle as well as a little thing to sort out the pins, whereas the SXOX I believe just comes with the dongle and not the little thing to sort out the pins. The prices do vary. I think it's $39.99 or $29.99. I don't know. I will have a picture on the screen if I haven't already showed it already, but I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about Team Executor actually releasing it because we do have a working custom firmware. Well, we do have a in-progress working custom firmware currently called Atmosphere Custom Firmware, and that's gonna be released for free. If you guys don't wanna spend any money on a dongle or anything like that, you can always just wait for the Atmosphere Custom Firmware to come out. We are still hoping for a summer release, but I don't know, because I do know that the team reswitch is still working on it. There is also a FAQ about the SX Pro and the SX OS. If you want to know more about it, there is a link in the description below. Let's move on over to the PlayStation 4, where we have a new PS4 update 5.55. Now, this of course just enhances the user stability and whatever, things like that. But, popular hackers have already said they have a kernel exploit for the device because they found one on 5.53, which is not fixed over on 5.55, which is awesome. That does mean we will not get a release for it anytime soon, but that just means that we do have something to wait on if people are on 5.55. And for those people who are on 5.05 firmware, you can finally rejoice because the exploit has been released by Spectre Dev. There is a ton of great stuff in this exploit. Well, I really should say it's all the same stuff the other exploits have, but on a newer firmware. Currently, it does come with Mira Custom Firmware, where it is essentially a firmware just like the Vita and not more of the PS3. With the PS3, you can actually install the firmware with the PUP file or update file. With the Vita, you actually have to run the exploit through the browser 
just like on the PS4, and then it'll run everything else from there as far as custom firmware, such as Hinkaku or Enzo. I am really excited for the development of what's going on with the PS4. I myself have finally updated to 5.05, and I wish I made a video about it, but I didn't. But I'm happy it works well for me. I only takes like maybe one or two tries for me to get it working. I've never had to try three times or more on it. It's always just been one or two tries. So it is awesome, it's very stable. I recommend you guys to try it. Currently the 5.05 exploit lets you do an FTP as well as run backups and homebrew and a lot of other stuff such as uh, disabled updates. Also on the PlayStation 4, users who have PS Plus games and things like that that they are not able to use on their current PS4 because they are not on the newest firmware. Well, I've got some great news for you. There is a homebrew application called React PS Plus. Just like the popular React PSN on the PS3, this React PS Plus on the PS4 lets you play your PS Plus games even if you're not on the newest firmware, which is great news because that's money that you literally just have sitting on your device. So go ahead guys, get the homebrew and you'll be able to play all those games yet again. All right guys, and that is it for this very late homebrew update. What are you guys excited for about the PS4? Are you able to finally play all your games and stuff like that on the 5.05 exploits? I know I am. I'm finally able to play my Hot Name Miku game. And as always, guys, you can find a link to everything in the description below, as well as a PayPal link if you want to make a donation, and all my other social media links so you can kind of catch up on what's going on with everything else as far as, you know, why videos are late or things like that. And I know guys, this video has been late, but my whole work schedule has been wonky. I really haven't had time to actually make a video. This video probably won't be going out on the day I actually record it, but I do have Saturday off when this video is planned to go out. So guys, thank you for being patient with me. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, I will see you next video.